Well, we want to take a moment to share our praises and our concerns with each other as the body of Christ. We need to pray for each other. We need to be concerned. I, I, I'm just very thankful. I've learned a lot uh, in this uh, uh, time and period that we've not been able to physically meet together. Uh, I kept asking, how do you do YouTube? Nobody seemed to want to tell me, so I figured it out. So I got on a good learning curve uh, how to communicate uh, without actually being present. I think I got another idea. I'll see how it works this week. Uh, well, uh, you know, we, we did Bible study uh, via Zoom went last Wednesday night, so uh, we'll invite you to do Bible study if you want on Wednesday night at 6. Let me know. I'll send you an invite so you can click on and join us uh, with the Bible study on Wednesday. We're doing the book of first john so we invite you to do that uh also uh, as if as things go if uh if indeed the county gets into the yellow uh amber uh area where those things are opening up we're going to be discussing how what that looks like here for church so so be looking for announcements uh, share this video with other folks if uh if they don't have access to computers or don't uh aren't well versed on computers because as I was doing my phone calling around this last week I found a guy that hadn't seen any of the sermons he has email uh, and so I said you want the Asbury Blast so that you can find the connections and he said yes and so we're very glad that people are starting to connect a little bit more uh, so we've learned so the other thing I've learned is I can't go to the dentist and my my partial was killing my gums and it was hurting and and what do I do without a dentist to go to? And uh, so I learned, another thing I learned, and praise God, is, is that I was trying to loosen it so it didn't feel so bad. And I found out that I needed to tighten it so it didn't rest too far. So praise the Lord, I got over that. I got my partial back in. I can eat again. So we're, we're very happy. God is at work in our lives and, and around us. And so we want to be thankful for that. Uh, thank you for all of you who've been, I don't think there's been a day that's gone by uh, that the mail has come and there hasn't been a check to keep the church uh, funded and keep the church running while we're in exile with each other. So, so thank you very much and continue to do that and God will bless us all as we do those things. And so we give, we give praise to God for that as well. Uh, our concerns this week, um, I, I found out yesterday that uh, Willis Jeffries is in the hospital at Hammett. Uh, he had a little AFib problem uh, with his heart, and they're trying to figure out how to adjust that and how to address that. So be praying for Willis, and, and, and be praying for those who've lost loved ones. Uh, Jesse Smith's brother died this past couple weeks, and, and we had a little graveside service for him. And, and pray for Jesse and the family as they, as they go through this time. Uh, be with those who are ongoing with treatments. Uh, 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 Andy and Andy Hansen and Mary Alice. And so uh, let's just be in prayer for uh, those affected by the virus, those who are affected financially by the virus, and each other. Let's pray. Gracious God, we're glad that you are with us, um, that you are our shepherd, and that you lead and guide us. And now, Father, we turn to you in times of need because you, that's why you set at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. And so we ask, Father, that as, we, as you intercede for us, that you will hear our prayers. We thank you, Father, that you've heard our prayers, that uh, we don't have the massive numbers that other communities have of COVID-19. We pray, Father, for Willis as he goes through a heart issue. Uh, we pray that you'll encourage him and, and be with the family as they cannot uh, gather around him at this time and he's in the hospital. We pray, Father, for those with ongoing concerns, uh, uh, cancers, heart problems, and other things that uh, may not be addressed as strongly as, as right normally, but Father, we thank you for the doctors being able to reach out by teleconference and, and working with their patients. And so, Father, we're thankful. We're thankful that life goes on and you are the sun rises, the sun sets, and you de demonstrate your beauty and your glory each day. 
And so, Father, we pray for those who have lost loved ones. We think of Jesse's family. We think of those who have lost loved ones from disease, uh, heart, um, cancer, COVID-19. We ask, Father, that your presence would be with them, that you would encourage them. Father, we pray that you will clear a path for us to reopen our culture and, and get people back to business. We pray, Father, for those who are, are suffering because they don't have income. Uh, we pray, Father, that you will continue to meet their needs, Father. Whether it's through some other organization or through individuals, we pray, Father, that you will be able to uh, touch their lives as well. And so, Father, we're grateful and thankful that you are at work. Pray for our president and governors, uh, especially in our, in our county executives and our township supervisors. They have to make tough decisions these days about how to balance safety and economy and, and all those things. And Father, we know that they've got to juggle a lot, so we pray for wisdom for them. We pray, Father, that uh, you will continue to protect us. Uh, Father, we pray for the military as they uh, protect our country, as some of them are in dangerous places. We pray that your hand will be upon them. We certainly pray, Father, for the doctors and nurses and health care and all those who have to work, Father, and come in contact. We pray that you will uh, shield them as well and that you will bless them and walk with them through their difficulties. And Father, just remind us to turn to you in praise and thanksgiving. Because you are a good God, and you are good all the time, and we can rest in you. In the name of Christ we pray.